counting all the Berry plays. He's now happy. And slowly but surely, we are finally underway on this Saturday afternoon at Gig Lane. Ball to Pete, who's able to bring it down well. He beats his man initially. He's now driving to the Colm box and his cross is blocked and he's out for a corner kick. Throwing's taken. Now with space on the edge of the box as the shot comes in and it's high and wide in the end. It was a good turn by Edwards away, so he probably fancied it a little bit. Rowney now moving Comber away. Does seem to be some uncertainty with a plan here, but Rowney goes short to Pete. Pete then out wide to Ensarka. Opportunity to play the ball into the box. It's a good one, but it's headed initially away by Colm. Now Lafferty on the edge of the box, crosses it towards the back post and a little bit too much power on it, which didn't allow Briggs to make the run. And Burrows goes down the line towards Edwards. He's not able to turn Pete and, and Sark is able to clear upfield towards Briggs and does really well to win the 50-50 and is now able to turn and come forward and he had Brazil to his left but it was cut out well. Get the ball over when Stanley but Cole eventually come forward. Long ball over the top for Weaver, is able to keep it in. Chance here with, for Cole as Weaver enters the box, takes a shot and that's a really strong hand from Atkinson to deny the Cole front man. Are able to win the ball. We're back to head tennis again. It's the ball's now at the feet of uh, Kadish, but Briggs wins, wins the ball back well. He then plays it to Brazil. Brazil's got Pete to his left, but Brazil goes on his own. And that's caught by Allen. Really good play there by Briggs to win the ball back. That's when Stanley will take this free kick, and he's played it back to his goalkeeper, who'd come out of his area to. Take the short ball, massively overhit it, nearly went into his own net, but there was never enough power on the back pass. Could have been a dangerous one. And I'll be hoping this is a dangerous, dangerous one here with Pete stepping over this free kick. Chance to play a dangerous ball into the box. Plays it in with his left foot. Falls to Jones Griffiths, it's blocked. Still in the box now with Lafferty. He plays it square to Jones Griffiths, who again has a chance to take a shot! And it's a wonderful goal! It's crept in at the bottom corner. Lafferty did well to keep the ball alive in the box. He's played it square to Jones Griffiths. He lets it roll in front of him. And it's a powerful strike to the bottom corner. And that's a 24 minutes, Berry 1-0 up. Yeah, it's a great shot there from, uh, from Jones Griffiths, just inside the area. Hit it with his laces and into the uh, bottom right hand corner and Berry lead by that goal to nil. Yeah, it just came after. Put a bit of pressure from Berry. A few balls into the box, a few set pieces. And they're able to get that pressure to tell. Set. Balls now with Williams. He plays the ball towards the penalty box. Headed away now, Jones Griffiths, but that's. Cross is sliced. Or rather, 13 12 here at uh, uh, Park Lane as it stands. Thanks, Joe. As Cole have a shot and it's in the back of the net. It was a corner. It was played back towards the penalty spot. And Alex Doyle came on to the end of it and knocked it goalwards. The corner initially came after a great save from Atkinson. And Cole have levelled it up quite quickly on it. Still now, Berry one, Cole one. Just by Williams initially. Rowney didn't really help out the centre back partner. Laff oh, sorry, centre back Lafferty there. Well, but he knocks it long for Briggs, who is able to win possession. Will now try and get the end of it on the edge of the box, but it's out for a corner kick. Good energy there by Briggs. To Rowney will take this one towards the six yard box. Briggs is the man to meet it, but he was underneath it, and it's out for a goal kick possession. I feel like he could have carried the ball for longer there. He played it too early to Pete, but now Weaver comes forward and. He's just bundled off the ball by Moore, and it's a free kick. Dangerous ball. If you can get enough pace on it for Berry to deal with. Ball's played in and high and over the bar. Thorin finds Moore, who just carries it over the halfway line and plays it to Briggs. Brazil makes a run through the middle. Briggs tries to find him. Brazil does win the ball. Brazil then takes a shot. It's creeping toward the goal and it goes into the back of the net eventually. It was a nice move there between Briggs and Brazil. 
The shot from Mizell went underneath Allen to both and agonisingly crept me towards the goal line. And I mentioned they wanted to lead just before half time. And it looks like they're going to, after 43 minutes, bury two, Cone one. Well, it looked like he was going to take an age to get into the, the back of the net there. And again, Cone will be disappointed. And Sarko will come across. We were now driving towards the very box. He plays it back and round. He's able to clear. And there's the half time whistle. Berry are indeed able to go in at half time. 2 1 to the good. After Alex Doyle equalised for the away side. And at half time, it's Berry 2 Cole 1. at the start of the first half. It doesn't, it doesn't take as much time this half, but we are back underway. Williams was being pressured. It's, uh, Brownie looks to collect there, and that's a... I thought that might have been a free kick there, but referee not interested as Pete moves forward, finds Jones Griffiths on the left-hand side, looking to go back inside towards Pete. Pete, left-hand corner of the penalty area towards Andy Briggs. And Sarka now gets it towards... Pete and Sarka again crossed into the penalty area looking to forward although they've got Jones Griffiths in company and Comba looks to get the ball through to Andy Briggs there Andy Briggs takes the, takes it past two players left footed shot and there's the third goal for Berry Andy Briggs is 11th goal of the season great work from Comba down the right hand side gets it across to Andy Briggs four minutes into the second half Berry three cone one Andy Smythe Key time to score for Berry. I mentioned they started the half well, and Andy Briggs is just able to finish that off. Nice play, as you say, by Combry. Also, Jones Griffiths did well to win the ball back. Briggs showed lovely feet to take, keep the ball away from the defender. Slightly stumbled at the last moment. Was able to get his left foot shot off past the goalkeeper. And a nice, comfortable finish by Briggs in the end. Kinson. A bit of time on the ball here, Atkinson, before he, he knocks it long. High into the sky it goes. Pete looking to win the header. Ball opportunity for Briggs. Briggs turns it past the goalkeeper. And there's Berry's fourth. Two goals in two minutes. And I said Alan wasn't having the best afternoon. I think he'll look back at that one and think he could have done better. Well, six minutes into the second half, Berry have a fourth. Andy Briggs on the score sheet once again. Goal number 12 of the season, Berry four, Cone one. Great ball forward there by Axison. An even better header from Pete. It's a fantastic leap from the, let's say, small man of Gaz Pete there. He's headed it beautifully. And Briggs was able to bring it down and then just knock it past Allen. Really nice goal. Again, all down to that header from Pete. Knocked forward. Opportunity for Jones Griffiths. Combo looks it, flicks it back. Here's Andy Briggs. Gets the shot off and it's the side netting. So go along and Hasler Craig's got an opportunity here for Cone, but he's way offside. Not long. Here's Al Hassan. Right hand side looking to get forward here as he breaks into the penalty area. Took a bit of a heavy touch there and Cone get it clear. Cross into the area again for Berry. Clear. Jones Griffiths with a shot deflection. That's the rear corner. Well, it was a great ball in by Ansarka. I don't know why Briggs didn't gamble to try and get to that front post first. Round it. Brazil. Al Hassan again. Williams back in towards Al Hassan. Takes the shot. Save the goalkeeper. A great effort there from Al Hassan, Andy. Ball forward. Gilboy finds Obasoto on the near side. Obasoto looking to get a shot off. Well saved by the feet of Allen. Wants to knock it back on this Saturday afternoon. Lloyd with a free kick into the area, looking to find the shot off, and it's cleared by Williams. And
opportunity for Cohn as he takes the shot off and it's over the bar from Thwellis. Hassan. Now to Moore, and there is the full time whistle. And Berry get a 4 uh, 1 win here at uh, Gig Lane against Cole. And they uh, complete their first double of the season, Andy Smart. They do, a very early double as well, and obviously the first back to back victory since August. I think it was all down to the start of that second half. They came out with good tempo, good intent. We're moving forward quickly, and again, it's quite a dull first half, really, from both sides. But second half, it was a really strong performance, particularly the, the start of it. And Andy Briggs just took over, really, as an attacking sense, and took his goals nicely in that second half. And a win so so important, particularly given what's all, what's gone on the last week or so.